She's at her first Paralympics. Already represented Azerbaijan in fully sighted judo, won a bronze medal in the under-63 category at a Grand Slam in Baku four years ago. Up against the Rio silver medalist on the left of our screen, wearing white. Early stages of the bout, both of them feeling their way around the tatami. Looking for a weakness in the defences so that they can bring their attack. See Usanova trying to go over the top. Now can Pusieva get her hand underneath? She was trying to go for the lapel to start with. Uchimata couldn't quite bring it off. <laughs> One minute of the four minutes gone. Kiev are again going over the back to try and get herself in a strong position to make an attack. Three from Uzbekistan, Ashilav Patekyo. <laughs> Once more, Kusieva trying to get in a position to make an attack with Uchimata with a leg between the legs to try and lift the, the body up. It's a tense bout at the moment. We can see members of the Azerbaijan delegation in the background wringing their hands and nervous for Kanim Husseinova. They're up for a fourth gold medal. Pusieva, very businesslike. She's the one making the attacks. Seems very calm, the 34 year old. She's been here before. She's been in a Paralympic gold medal match before, five years ago in Rio, when she came up just short. Just about halfway through the bout now. Still nothing between these two. Time is an attack there from Husinova. She nearly had the arm. That was very close. Putsinova. The coach is asking for a video review, but it isn't his position to do so. Oh. 
No score with a minute and a half to go. Hosseinova seems to be coming into this bout a little more. The, the style of judo from both of these are cancelling each other out as they go through. And both will be looking in their mind's eye to try to find a way of springing some form of trap. And again, oh, there's the Oranagi attempt. He landed on her. Elbow. It, it was her elbow who protected, uh, protected her. There were cries of Wazari from the Azerbaijanis in the crowd. The referee was having none of it. Usinova trying to get into one of the hold down positions. Not able to, though. Great defence there from Husieva. She say put the elbow down to make sure that she protected her back. She's going to feel that tomorrow morning, that's for sure. A minute to go, no score. Golden score beckons. A gold medal on the line. Back into the cage, your moves now. Ah, Surely that's it. She turned her over this time. So Husanova. And can she continue with the hold down? She's got the Wazari. Can she keep it on the tatami? She can't. So now it is Husieva who's trying to take the initiative. Mate called. So a Wazari for Husanova. Just 22 seconds to go as well, because that attack ended up eating about 35 seconds off the clock. So all of a sudden, the Azerbaijani Husseinova is in the lead with just 22 seconds to go. The referee just reminding the coach to keep the noise down a little. Tried that, holding her arm. Senova still looking at the attack. Just eight seconds on the clock. Vasieva must do something if she's going to take this gold medal away. Not it's too late. To. She's too tired. And once again, it is a gold medal for Azerbaijan. Khanim Husseinova, 28 years old at her first Paralympics, makes it a fourth gold medal in seven events for Azerbaijan. Well, it's a phenomenal performance from the team from Azerbaijan. And I say the team because all of these individuals have won their medals, but it is really a team effort. And the coach can take just as much pride in that You have to feel for Irina Husieva. Five years ago, she lost out to the Cuban Davidida Rodriguez. This time, she comes up just short against the newcomer, Khanim Husseinova. Once again, the Azerbaijani steamroller continues through this Nippon Budokan. A fourth gold medal, three out of four gold medals for the women already. It's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Such a, a, a fighting nation, such fierce warriors, great tradition of judo and the martial arts in general. Wrestling, karate, Azerbaijan does it all. Flag manufacturing, they're pretty good at that as well. And they need to be, they've got a lot of them. Anthems, they do a good anthem, the Azerbaijanis. 
Let's watch this again. There she goes, takes her down. Soto Magikomi holds onto that arm, takes her onto the side. That gives her the Wazari. 